We're glad you joined us tonight at 5. I'm Rudy Williams. First off tonight, we're seeking solutions to the city's lack of affordable housing problem. Today, the Memphis mayor, Paul Young, and city officials presented $5 million to area nonprofits to help address that growing concern. Nearly two out of three Memphians spend at least half their annual income to keep a roof over their heads. And that's according to data from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. Our Stephen Pimpo has more on just how that money will be used. Stephen. Rudy, some of it will go towards building up neighborhoods and schools and nonprofit Klondike, excuse me, nonprofit Klondike Smoky City CDC says they'll use some of their money to continue renovating houses they rent for between $750 and $850 a month. But some of the groups I talked to say they can't do it all on their own. Quincy Morris of Klondike Smoky City CDC says they're still new when it comes to providing affordable housing to people in North Memphis. We renovate houses and we're in the process of um, working with a minor home repair program. The Economic Development Group was one of several to receive close to $5.5 million in grant money from Mayor Paul Young and the city's Division of Housing and Community Development. And while Morris is grateful, she says that's not the end of the problem. It's very difficult because you have a lot of nonprofits uh, applying for the same funds. The more than 20 groups all need the funding to help the communities they serve, like Hope House, which improves quality of life for people living with HIV and living in poverty. Our families face a lot of discrimination in the community due to their HIV status, but also people living in poverty face a lot of discrimination. It can be very difficult in order to, to find a place to live. Chief Operating Officer Melissa Farrar says fair market rent for a one bedroom apartment in Memphis is more than $1,100 a month, and that goes up to more than $1,700 for a three bedroom. The cost of living uh, certainly continues to go up and is rising faster uh, than incomes. And so certainly we want to see incomes across our community grow. We want to make sure that our uh, community is trained Morris believes it will take a united effort by Memphis nonprofits. Now, Hope House received the largest grant at more than $1.5 million. They say that will help provide homes for 82 families, adding up to about 150 to 200 people. Rudy. All right, Stephen, thanks a lot. Everybody deserves a place to call home, right?